If you're a fellow streamer, you've probably wondered, how do I get more interaction through my chat? And why do I have 10 viewers and nobody chatting right now? If you guys have had these thoughts, please stay tuned, check out this video, and I hope it helps you guys out. All right, everybody, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I am your host, Reaper of Hugs. Today, I just wanted to talk a little bit about chat interaction on some platforms like Twitch, Facebook Gaming, YouTube Live, things like that and how important it really can be, especially for the streamer. It can definitely cause a lot of stress for a streamer to be acquiring views and not have the chat interaction. I know a lot of us are really looking for that chat, but honestly, at the end of the day, you cannot force anybody to chat on your channel. I think that's a really important point I want to get across to you guys. There's a lot of avenues you can take that'll help out with chat and it'll help get your uh, viewers to engage with you, but there's no real way you can force somebody to chat with you, especially if you're playing a video game. And I think this is really important because recently on Twitch, just chatting channels are absolutely killing it and blowing up from what I've seen. If you do a just chatting stream, you will have the opportunity to have a lot more interaction. It'll be way easier to follow your chat and it'll be way easier to hit topics that your chat might want to interact with you with. If you're just playing a video game, you will probably pull a lot of viewers who might just be enjoying the game. So they might not wanna talk. Personally, whenever I'm at work at the firehouse, I will actually hop on Twitch mobile and I will watch some channels, but I don't typically chat. And that's because Twitch mobile buffers for me like every 20 seconds. So anytime I've tried to chat with somebody, it just buffers and there's nothing going on there. So at that point, I'm a viewer, but I'm not gonna be able to chat. So something you gotta understand is even if you got 10, 20, 30 views, you might not be able to pull in that chatter. Ways you can engage with the community more are put out consistent topics of conversation talk about what you're doing in the game, talk about what kind of gameplay you like, what kind of tactics you're using, the strategies you're using in the game. This might uh, provoke a viewer's attention. They might be interested in talking about that same topic or they might be interested in talking about the gameplay that you're providing. But you gotta be able to engage and it's really hard to do, especially as a streamer and a gamer because you're focused on the game. You're like, oh, I gotta, I gotta get this win. Everybody's in it for the win. But if you have somebody stop in, and they enjoy that gameplay and you're talking about it like, hey, I like to use this tactic on, I don't know, PUBG. I like to hang out in this building. I like to use the zone for this. And they might be like, well, I do this. And then we got somebody chatting in your chat, which is great. The other thing is make sure you pay attention to the chat. It's really important to engage with the viewer as soon as they stop by the stream, because a lot of people are in and out very quickly. If they feel like you're not willing to chat with them or you're not there to talk to them right away, and they've said hi obviously they've come out of their comfort zone they said hi to you they're trying to interact with you if you're not um basically engaging with that right away it might be a big turnoff for the street for the viewer and they might just frankly look for a different channel somebody who might be more interactive much quicker and it just varies and again the big thing i really want to hit on guys is you cannot force a viewer to chat you just can't you can you can give them those avenues for engagement but you can't force it on them and just remember that guys of course like i said most of us want that and another another addition you can do is add in a few like polls on the stream or just different ways to interact through channel points channel points have been huge and i think they've been really beneficial for a lot of people on twitch put in some channel points where your viewers can ask you specific questions um feel free to have hopefully if you're large enough you're growing fast enough you have a moderator if people see somebody chatting in the chat they might be more likely to chat with them as well but the real thing there is guys just don't be afraid to talk while you stream don't be afraid to chat about different topics and i know it can be tough a lot of us are pretty introverted as gamers so it's not easy for us to come out of that comfort zone and just talk all the time always but really work on doing that while you stream it'll help bring that engagement and it'll help people you know hit on different topics whatever it might be and it'll help bring in viewers that'll consistently want to talk to you about those topics and interact with you and communicate with you and get to know you a little bit better and personally that's one of the biggest things to me especially being a small streamer is people will come to small streams typically for interaction because a lot of the big streamers won't be able to talk to them they'll get lost in the sauce they won't be able to have the interaction so as a small streamer you really need to capitalize on interaction and just do what you do best and have fun gaming people can pick up on that people will stop by your small stream to chat with you and get to know you a little better as an individual Make sure you're checking that chat. Pay attention to when they're popping in. Don't be afraid to talk about any topics, guys. And I really hope this video helps you out. The main point I wanna get across for this video is don't be afraid to get out of that comfort zone. 
get to know your chat work on it develop different ways to earn it for interaction emotes channel points polls on the channel anything like that to draw in some topics of conversation and again guys you cannot force anybody to chat ever so try not to you're more likely to deter a chatter by calling them out and being like i see if you in the channel why aren't you chatting right now guys than you are by just being yourself being comfortable and having fun a warm welcoming environment and thank you guys so much for checking out the video i hope this helps you out somewhat feel free to comment down below what helps you guys interact with your chat or what you guys are looking for out of streaming and thank you guys so much for stopping by today